Good afternoon and a warm welcome to our talk, What's New with Lisp in version 23 session. This is a more technically oriented session, primarily intended for our Autolisp developers. My name is Thorsten Moses and I'm working on the Lisp and PRX parts, as well as on general API and compatibility tasks for Brickscript Core. As with every major release, the Lisp interface got a number of new functionality and extensions, this year mainly in the areas of BIM and Mechanical, but there are also a number of general proposed improvements. With version 23, we offer the Express tools as a native, built-in component of BricksKit for all licenses and all platforms. Our Express tools do not only provide the end-user's front-end commands, but also support third-party Lisp developers by a large range of the so-called Express Tools API functions. And of course, the development of Express Tools for improvements, increased compatibility, fixes, and more additions is an ongoing task, like the intended localization for all BricsCAD languages during version 23. Based on the feedback from our third-party Lisp developers, a number of issues and defects have been fixed, and several usability improvements have been applied, especially the debugging workflow has seriously been improved and simplified. There is no need for manual Lisp file loading anymore. The Blade debugger now identifies, identifies all necessary Lisp file loading automatically, from any source and in any context. To support efficient development work, Blade now fully supports the edit while debug works well to allow code fixing under debugger with automatic and intelligent Lisp code reloading while preserving global Lisp data. In our opinion, these debugging related improvements are a major step ahead. We are glad to provide the new Lisp interface for mechanical components with version 23 now. With the full range functionality is also found in the BRX and .NET interfaces. And of course, it is all integrated into Blade. Our online developer help and the Lisp developer support package will provide the complete documentation. Same as for the mechanical components, there was a significant demand by Lisp developers to have an interface to our 3D constraints functionality. And this is now available with version 23. Please note, this new functionality is not restricted to mechanical entities only, but is also applicable to general 3D solids, block references, BIM objects, and others. Finally, all the new Lisp functionality is also supported by Blade in autocomplete and syntax tooltips. Another minor extension for our Lisp interface is provided by two new functions to export and import McNeil Reno files. Some flexibility is given for both export and import functions, like the way an entity set is specified and whether imported geometry shall be simplified. The import function returns the list of created entities directly to simplify Lisp code development. A major and most important Lisp feature is provided by the new subentity selection and subentity selection set functions. There were two functions to select specific subentities like edge, vertex, and face programmatically and user interactively, and three functions to add, remove, and verify the subentity against the given selection set. These functions mainly target the ACES entities like 3D solids, surfaces, and so on, but are not limited to ACES entities. Several BricsCAD commands which support subentities can now be used in conjunction with subentities from Lisp code side, like the move and rotate commands. The created selection set is just a normal one, compatible with existing selection set functions. Those will just recognize the main entity only. Now for a short demonstration. I have created just a simple ACES entity by the box command, so nothing special at all. First. Let's see what happens if we ask the user to select a vertex entity by the new function. The user is guided by some predefined object snaps, which can be adjusted uh, by the Lisp code, by the Lisp function. 
the user selects a suitable sub-entity, the vertex, and the function returns a kind of a definition list. This is in detail explained in our developer reference. Next step is to extract the specified sub-entity from the returned list and let's create a new selection set using this sub-entity. Now we pass this selection set to the move command and let's see how it is used. It's applying the normal displacement vector by start point and end point. We can change the geometry of the ACES entity. A similar thing will happen if we use the same procedure, but this time with an edge sub entity. The user selects a suitable edge. If the user selects anything else than the edge, then nil is returned. So again, we extract the edge sub entity and create a new selection set from it. Provide the move command with this selection set and again provide the displacement vector by start and end point. As we can see, it allows a wide range of transformation and deformation of the ACES subentity. Now, using this code, we can achieve results which have not been able and not been possible before version 23. At this moment, we provide just a starting point for the new sub-entity list functions family. There are already ideas to use this new functionality in relation to more geometric analysis and geometric operations during and after version 23. Of course, any feedback, wishes, ideas are welcome. Now for some important improvements for the list BIM interface. Besides the BIM type classification based on predefined enumerations, a new function set allows classification based on the type string name. This significantly extends the capabilities, namely to use all supported IFC object types. The new function set supports all typical query and edit and assignment functions. A few more functions were added to our VLE functions library. Most useful is a feature to compile SHP shape font files into SHX format. To note, all VLE functions are also provided for other Autolisp compatible CAT systems by loading our VLE extension MSP list file, which is located in the BricksKit installation folder and also provided by our Lisp developer support package. All these new Lisp features with version 23 are documented in our Lisp developer support package, which is a freeware download at our application catalog. And of course, the online developer reference will also include all the new and extended Lisp features. Thank you for your attention and for our Lisp developer community. Good luck and success exploring the new capabilities. And as always, looking forward for any kind of feedback to fix, improve, and extend our Lisp engine. Thank you and goodbye.